guys welcome back to my channel i haven't done a sit down video in so long so this feels so weird but as you can tell by the title today i am going to be filming a back to school supplies haul a college edition one though i did one last year and i feel like i had so much more stuff last year just because you know i was going to college as a freshman i didn't really know what i needed for freshman year but this time around, I feel like I know exactly what I need or I have a better idea. So I don't have a lot, but if you are going into college this year, I highly recommend you continue watching this video because I feel like I got some good stuff that I feel like everyone really needs in their life. So make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and if you enjoyed it. But if you want to see what I got for the 2019-2020, well more like 2019 semester of fall, <laughs> then keep on watching. So first I'm just going to start out with just like the little stuff. So I have so many pens and pencils that I just didn't buy any really. But I bought some Expo markers because I did buy a whiteboard which you guys will see. So I just got just the skinny basic color Expo markers. And then I got these pens. They're the Papermate Flare Tip Pens. Um, they're like my favorite to write with. But the thing is that they go dry so fast. So I always have to buy some more. Also, all of my school supplies are from Target. Because Target is the best store in the whole entire world. So those are all like the pens and pencil things that I got. Next, I just stocked up on some index cards. I have so many, but I literally go through so much. These are so great for studying, making flashcards, you know, everything like that. So, you know, these are only like 80, 90 cents. So I just got three of them. And then my favorite of all are these post-it notes. They are like the most colorful post-it notes, like, cool colors i think i've ever seen they're like pastel i don't know if you can see that yeah they're like pastel and they're also made of recycled post-it notes so you know saving the planet over here and stuff but yeah so these are super super cool colors i love to use post-it notes in like my textbooks or in my planner or in like i don't know sheets that the teacher professor gives me whatever and then I just got some page flags for textbooks, notebooks, you know, anything like that. But these ones are super, super cute. I don't think I've ever seen ones like these. Usually they're just, you know, the basic ugly colors. Next, I got a ruler because I find myself always needing a ruler. And this was only like not even a dollar. So I was just like, why not? And then I got this super cute notebook, which is really not for school I guess I got it to keep in my purse so I could write lists notes anything throughout the day that I'm feeling I need to write down next I got this pencil bag it's pink and then it has like a yellow zipper but I have a pencil bag which I really love which is really cute but the cap came off of one of my markers and it made like a big old like stain on the side of it so I was just like might as well get a new pencil bag and then next which is a big change this year if you watched my school supplies video from last year you would know that i got like a whole bunch of notebooks but i've come to realize that one notebook that's five subjects is honestly the way to go just because you really don't want to be carrying around three different notebooks for all three of your classes that day or having to go back and forth to your car to your dorm to get another notebook it's so much easier just to have one notebook that you can fit all your classes in unless your professor stresses that you need one single notebook for that class only i highly recommend that everybody just get a five subject notebook like i still have the five subject notebook from my last semester and i didn't use it up all the way Oh, also because I use an iPad, if you don't know. I have an iPad Pro. I, It's over there on my desk. But I have an iPad Pro. I bought it um, spring semester last year, this year, whatever. But So I'm technically a paperless student. I take all my notes on my iPad. But I have this just in case for the professors that don't allow electronics in the classroom because sadly... That still happens and it's kind of annoying. 
But so yeah, I'll get this for those classes and then if I have to turn something in that class, you know, we have like an in-class assignment or something like that, this is what I have this for. But I highly recommend you get an iPad or something like that because my iPad has literally saved my life. It's so easy taking notes on there. So if you want a video on how I take notes on my iPad Pro, definitely leave a comment, thumbs up this video, and let me know if you want to see it because I'll definitely film that for you guys. So the second to last thing that I have for you is my planner. Now I am super indecisive with what planner I want this year. This is like the second planner that I bought. I couldn't return the other one because I wrote in it, which I'm really mad about, but I haven't wrote in this one. This one is just a day designer one but like the ones that they sell at target so they're not as expensive as the real or like the other day designer ones that are hard covered but it's basically the same thing but this one is just a you know has the regular calendar and then it has like um an everyday thing like it's a daily one can you even see that yeah so you have your times on this side and then like your to-dos notes and just like other things so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one I might keep it I might return it we'll just have to see you guys will find out when I film my plan with me for fall semester so I'm super excited for that vid video lastly i have my whiteboard so i got this whiteboard mainly for studying because i am taking chemistry this semester which i am not ready for but i'm taking chemistry at a math class so i got this whiteboard to help me with problems help me study and everything like that and you know i got some extra expo markers because it only comes with one marker but yeah here is the whiteboard I think this whiteboard was literally only seven dollars so not too bad but as you can see those are all the school supplies that I got for this semester once you're in college you really don't need much because majority of the time you're typing essays you're doing homework that's already online so you don't really need to write much or anything like that so you really don't need a lot but sometimes I'm a little extra and I like to get a little more than what I need but yeah so that's basically all i got for this semester i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any video requests please leave them down below any college related lifestyle related anything i will film it for y'all just leave a comment make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye